All right, dog. It's your boy Jackson. See Jackson, and we're back, and we in training camp, baby. Almost to preseason, man. It's your boy Duval Jackson. See Jackson, man. Let's get into it. All right. So currently, as I record this, we are in week two of training camp. We have seen the first week with no pass. The second week of pass have come on and started as of right now. Today is the third Thursday, the third. August 3rd. But let's get into it, man. Training camp, the fans got to see Calvin Ridley and see how agile and fast he is, man. He looks amazing. He had one little hiccup yesterday. Uh, they said he was, his toe was hurt. But he, that after the fact, they said it was just his cleats that were bothering him. He switched cleats and got right back out there. Once again, like I said in the last video, the running back room is stacked. Now we see it. It's not just on paper no more. The boys on the field, the boys are all running fast as all get out. Hasty hitting them hoes like he did last year. Tank Bisbee, the rookie, is fast and powerful. ET is just as shifty as all get out. And them boys are starting to get more comfortable with their um their running assignments. You know what I'm saying? Snoop's still in there. Uh, Deonis Johnson's really fast as well. Got good hands. All right, let's get over to the defense. I want y'all to understand that Mike Clark was in his second year as defensive coordinator. And before he came to Jacksonville, he was a linebacker's coach down in Tampa Bay with the Tom Brady era Super Bowl winning Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I expect him to be uh getting it in this year, especially because it's the second year as defensive coordinator. I expect the uh, rookies that were struggling a little bit, Devin Lloyd and, and Muma and uh, a couple of other guys to uh, get a little bit more comfortable in the system. I'm hoping Caleb Vaughn and Chase Sign in a stable, finally in a stable coaching situation where he's had the same system for two years, is able to, uh, to show his uh, promise. Uh, let's see. Between the DBs and the wide receivers, Calvin and Tyson have been going at it. Iron sharpen iron, steel sharpen steel, so it's only gonna make them boys better. Trayvon Walker looks a lot, lot leaner than uh, last year. Still has his muscles, still has his shape and size and all that. His uh, damn, not the shape. <laughs> Sound like a woman, but uh, now nah, he still has his stature and frame. But he uh, looks a lot leaner, and he looks like he's gonna like hurt some people this year. He was already hurting them last year. He uh, got him a little pass rush move. I haven't seen all of them because they've been keeping us on the other side of the field away from the defense. So it's kind of hard to see them boys. Uh, Josh Allen is in and he looks as jacked as ever. He's in the tip top physical condition. Let's hope he can go off this year and be have give habit to the uh, opposing team. All right, so on to the secondary, man. They're looking real good out there. Chris Clay Brooks is looking good in the slot. Uh, and even the rookies are out there looking very athletic. Christian Braswell, uh, Antonio Johnson, Eric Hallett, the boys are, are doing their thing. Uh, and I'm hoping that they, they're, they're y'all providing a lot of depth to the team. Even Monteric Buster Brown, he's out there looking real good. Uh, Gregory Jr. is looking real good. They say his body has changed tremendously. He's been lifting a lot of weights and uh, getting his grown man strength on. So them boys, we uh, look to look pretty decent in the uh, secondary. The safeties, they're doing what they're doing. They're solid. Uh, Cisco, that guy. Jenkins, that guy, Ray Sean, the freaking, the monster. I heard he was out there fighting Sammy Ray as one of the tight ends. Just going for a position. And uh, I wouldn't expect anything less from a Florida native. You know what I'm saying? He's a dog. He's going to put in that work. And he's going he gonna to show his dominance. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, back to the DBs. The reason I didn't mention Tyson Campbell and Darius Williams is because we just assumed those are the two starters at one and two on the DB side. So I kind of tend to focus on the rookies or the guys that's vying for a spot on the starting lineup so that's why we go that route also the defense tends to need a blow more than the offense so you're more likely if anybody ever rotates in there's going to be a backup guy on the defensive side of the ball on the um db side of the ball so that's why i don't necessarily talk about the guys that we know are going to be starters because they're pretty much going to play the entire game so let's hop over to the offense on the tight end side of the ball man they got uh, Evan Ingram, you know, he just signed this new deal. So he's here for three years, so he's, he's guaranteed going to be there. They got a guy named Garrett Prince, who uh, is a, a practice squad guy from last year. And I think it's amazing that the Jags this year, with Doug Peterson, is actually doing what the practice squad is meant for it to do. You know what I mean? To have a guy be on the team on the practice squad and you develop him 
and develop him so much and so well that he actually has a chance to make the starting 53 man roster. That's amazing. Jags for a long time just had practice squad guys just to have bot. And that's such a, a bad way to do the do business, you know what I'm saying? You got those guys on the team and they have no hope of making the team. And this year that's changing. This and last year with Tim Jones being able to make the start at 53, that's amazing to me. But back to the other guys, there's a guy named Sammy Reyes who is like, he's very big. So like he's a bruiser. I would really want him to be on the team to like I don't know to beat people up. I don't know in the parking lot or something. I don't know, man. This dude's huge. But uh, we still got Brent Strange draft pick from this year. He's solid. I ain't seen him drop a ball yet. He's hella, 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 hella got good hands. Uh, Luke Farrell is still doing his thing. He's consistent. He hasn't really wild me yet, but I think he's gonna make the squad just because he's consistent as hell. He's an Ohio State guy. And uh, so he's played in the big games, and he's he could be used as a bargaining chip. I don't know. You can trade him away and get some value for him, too, as well. But I think we're going to um, end the show there. I know I left out wide receivers, your, your quarterback, and all that stuff, but let's say something for the next show. If you stuck around this long, man, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, go share this with a friend, man. Leave a comment down at the, at the bottom. Let me know what you think the Jags record going to be in. How you think the uh, division going to turn out? Who's going to be first, second, third, and fourth in the division? You know Tennessee got to be fourth on my list. But, hey, man, that's enough for me, man. That's your boy Jackson. D. Jackson, man. Y'all take it easy. I hope I see y'all out there at training camp, man. And we go.